Aloha, Richard Alverson here. And uh, today I'm gonna do lab 215, uh, converting to dollars. So let me share my screen. And I'm not gonna do it all for you today. This is the last lab of the chapter. I'm gonna uh, leave you with part of it uh, to see how well uh, you're able to do on this. So, um, so the idea here is you are supposed to read in, you're supposed to ask the user for, for how many quarters, how many dimes, how many nickels, and how many pennies. And you're supposed to compute how much that is. Uh, and you output in dollars and cents. So if you input a four for four quarters, a three for three dimes, a two for two nickels, and a one for penny, then that equals, let's see, four times 25 is 100, plus three times 10 is 30, so that makes it 130, plus two times five is 10, which makes it 140, plus one, that makes it 141. So you wanna print out 141. And they give you the print statement. So right away, let's just pop this thing right down here. We know that that's gonna be, we know that's gonna be the end, okay? Uh, and up here, we have to ask the user, we have to get from the user these numbers. And it looks like first we ask quarters, then nickel dimes, then nickels and pennies. So we're going to first ask for quarters. And that's going to certainly be an integer input. And then we're going to ask for dimes. And that two is going to be an integer input. And we're going to ask for nickels, also an integer input. And we're going to ask for pennies, uh, some sort of, uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry, an input, uh, an integer input. All right, uh, and then we're gonna compute dollars and that's gonna equal something. It's gonna equal uh, you know, something that's got quarters in there and something, it's got quarters uh, times, you know, 20, how much a quarter is worth is 25 plus uh, dimes uh, times uh, how much a dime is worth, which is 10. Um, you can do it where, um, it's really equal to 0 0.25, 0 0.10. You know, that might be better. Um, but anyway, it's it's something like this, and you're gonna finish that. Uh, if you do the 0 0.10, 0 0.25, you don't have to uh, do anything else. But if you do 25 and 10, then of course you would have to, at the end, you'd have to divide that by 100. Uh, but, you know, so you can do it either way. Uh, I kind of like the 0 0.25, 0 0.0, this is, Take this times 0.25 plus this times 0.1 plus this times 0.05 plus this times 0.01. And so you add it all up and you print it out. Okay, so I've done the first two. I'm just going to see what this uh, ends up being. It's going to be wrong because it's not going to count the nickels and the pennies. Looks like this. And so when I run this, it does give me an answer of one dollar and thirty cents. Well, it didn't do. I didn't do the nickels and the pennies. So anyway, um, I would like you to finish uh, the rest of this. And uh, if you have any questions, just give me a holler. I uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.